What's up guys, Press Young here, back for another video And unexpectedly, like last week, Apple released iOS 14.4 Or I think it's last week, yeah it's last week And then now they released iOS 14.5 Beta 1 Which is huge jump Now usually back in iOS 13, iOS 12, Apple usually don't do very fast updates Only but this very sudden, there's 14.5 and of course us last year when we talked about iOS 13 in which on the iPad at, at OS it was like quite slowly I think it was like one month later this one's actually one month early when they get the betas so quite interesting now not only they release iOS 14.5 beta 1 they also release iPad OS 14.5 beta 1 I'll do in the next video oh uh, watch OS as well I don't know what's point some point something but I will do that in the but I will check it later. Now, because it's a beta, I usually would not install on my primary device. But I will actually can tell you what it's like to have if you are actually installing beta one in this. Because it, of course, it's not recommended everyone to install the beta. Doesn't matter the developer or public beta is not unstable. Well, the reason why there's a beta update is because it's for developers to know oh, what it's like inside software so they can update the games and apps that they are using. So that's why why they need a developer portal, and of course Apple got the private beta, but they say it's not recommended on primary device. You should do on secondary device. So you got secondary device, you can actually install it if you want to. So let's talk about what it has inside of it. Of course, the first thing inside I when you, every time you install this phone is that you always have a modern update, okay, which is actually involved the five G network or also four G network to solve all those issue. Two. A new build own number now for example betas in the build own numbers inside they always start with the e d or g or some reason this update actually come with a j so i think the beta should be like seven betas or eight betas to get a stable update so during this period of time i'm thinking in the apple will release 14.4.1 maybe to solve the green tin issue because right now 14.5.1 doesn't solve the green tin issue so i think apple could have put a minor update to fix this issue now if you want the build number it actually has the same build number as the ipad and pro so i let me go to settings and go to the bar and tell you about it you can see right here if you go to ipad os 14.5 you can see it's 18 e 514 0 j so it's the same build number as the iphone if you're using in the in the install the beta uh, update so what are the new features as there is so number one is very simple. If you install 14.5.1, sorry, we got this notification. Let me turn on do not disturb so we don't have to get interrupted. You go to settings, we go to general, then actually and software update. Of course, this is on 14.4. You can see 14.4, but 14.5 beta one, there's a new prompt that say that at say hours 14.5 is updated your software and your spark and security is also updated so it means that that's a new thing and also this one green tick say that you'll be installed with a new update so i think that one actually is quite new for the new ui in the software ad so that i think maybe it's a good welcome say that okay your security updates updated yeah that's good to know about it now the next one, I talk about the modern update. Now why I'm talking about the modern update is that if you subscribe to 5G but you're using dual SIM or using eSIM with eSIM or if you're in China using dual SIM, it's finally supported 5G on dual SIM on 14.5 beta 1. However, you can actually try it but but I think in in it's supported but I think certain carriers doesn't support it yet because it's just a beta. So you wait for the full version and it will work eventually so it's a good thing in that those people who are using dual 5g settings it finally fixes as the issue so that's a timer done let me just remove it it okay now the next one is actually very special and that is the apple watch on the iphone so like right now out when you wear a mask you cannot unlock the phone on or let's say you don't want people to know you, you want to wear the mask and it doesn't work you would end up had to like take out the mask or have to key in the password uh, to, in order to unlock the device but now no more 14.5 beta 1 if you update 14.5 beta 1 and also the watch with some, something like like sorry let me just turn back okay like certain like 7. Point, like i think 7.4 beta 1 i think 
in, there is an option in Face ID say that you can actually unlock using Apple Watch. So it means that if your watch is on the wrist and it's already it unlocked, and then when you just lift the phone up, it will unlock eventually when you wear at the wrist. And the watch will say notification say that your phone is unlocked. Uh, and you can lock the device immediately when some like let's say someone took your phone and then suddenly you realize oh your phone is unlocked. You have the chance to quickly lock it so it uh, will not. They will not use it immediately. I know. I think this feature. I know a lot of people say that this feature may be uh, less secure. If you are those people who feel that it's less secure, and then key in the password, go ahead at and of course you can. It's it might be turned off by default, and you can just turn off. If it's turned off by default, you can just quickly check. So when you get the release like full official from my file, make sure you go to Face ID to check whether uh, is it unlocked or not. If it's default it's on, quickly turn it off. You don't like it, and yeah, and mm. so yeah, that's a good feature on the iPhone. So finally, they focus on fourteen point five, just because on Fei Fei is ID. Hey, yeah, and now they talk about the watch app. Now the watch app, if you go to, to say they say fourteen point five, I beta one the Face Gallery app. See, it's shaded, but in the new update, it actually removes the white color, so it's completely blank. So, if you're using 14.5 beta 1, you can see this kind kinds of difference on 14.5. Hi, now on 14.5, I, I, I also mentioned about it haven't resolved the green tint issue. Oh, uh, unfortunately, but hopefully, Apple will fix it. Maybe it's because the Apple want to release on the minor update, so it's understandable. So. I know that Apple always do that. So yeah, I give Apple some time to fix this issue because this OLED always has some problems. And sometimes from LG or maybe Samsung, but Apple will fix it in the future. So yeah, that's about it in iOS 14.5 beta 1. I almost say 14.5.1. It should be 14.5 beta uh, 1. It's my mistake. And then, and then of course, the battery e health. On this device, still hundred percent. I can show you. Go to settings. I go to battery. No, uh, go to battery. Go to e, and then go to battery health. It's still hundred and fourteen point four. Uh, as I mentioned, it will not affect fourteen point five anything because they actually care about the auto whole system. So, so mostly, if you own iPhone trial, trial mini, e trial pro, trial max, usually when you want to drop to ninety nine, it's usually around six months, seven, eight, nine months. Uh, depends how you're using you play a lot of games yeah within six months you can see 99 if you are like using light usage of everything it should maintain 100 for at least a year before it drops but as i mentioned until you reach the three year mark you have to replace the battery it's just getting weaker that's it even say 100 percent, it does not mean it's good it can be very slow over time because it cannot give the voltage properly because it's already old battery you should change it even show 100 percent and should you install it in the final conclusion usually i don't say a whether it's not because you yourself should know that beta is very unstable that's why i always should end the video immediately but as i say beta is always a beta and beta is always very unstable so when it comes to very unstable you might have some problem facebook cannot open instagram cannot open your games cannot load properly while your game's loading 1.5 slower than before the reason is that because app developer is first time know this beta and the time taken they need to fix wait until when 14.5 releases when 14.5 releases then there will be like one or two days after the app will just update tell you you need to update when you mostly they say auto update when you're charging it however uh sometimes sometimes the app doesn't need update let's say it's that oh, okay 14.4 and 14.5 it doesn't affect the any bug issue yeah that's about uh then they do need an update but sometimes most of the time they will update in the preparation of 14.5 they usually update one day before you update the 14.5 so which is also a good thing so uh, that's about it be sure to subscribe to our channel turn notification bell and i'll see you in the next video